Hi, I'm Brian Dean from Amulet Studios, and today I want to talk about the new product from Reillusion. On August 27th, they dropped Character Creator 5. Now, I've been using Reillusion for my characters for a while, and I was looking forward to the new features that we'd be getting. So in this video, I'm going to go over what Character Creator is, what the new features are in Character Creator 5, and what my thoughts are of it so far. What is Character Creator? Character Creator is a standalone application that lets you create custom characters. Starting from a generic base mesh or using a character preset, you can then use morph sliders to craft your character however you want. You can create both realistic and stylized characters. Your character will then be ready to animate, complete with body and facial rig. To complete your character, Reolution has a marketplace where you can find hair, clothing and accessories and other assets. In addition to Character Creator, Reillusion also offers an extended suite of tools for more advanced users. Gozi and Gozi Plus allows for seamless migration to and from ZBrush, which is the industry standard in character sculpting. Face Tools is another tool that allows you to modify individual blend shapes for your character, ensuring that they have a personality as unique as they are. To add life to your character and make them move, Reillusion's Actor Core offers a library of thousands of motion assets to quickly add animation to your character. So once you have a character, then what? All my projects are using Unreal, and luckily Reillusion offers seamless integration with Unreal. There are plenty of export options that will allow you to export to whatever platform you need. Their free auto setup tool makes it easy to export to Unreal, Unity, Blender, 3ds Max, Maya, or to Marmoset for texturing. So this is what you already could do with Reillusion's Character Creator 4. So what do you get with Character Creator 5? The new CC5 profile adds more resolution for extra detail and realism. It also has extended the number of morph shapes for greater control and realism over facial expressions and movement. The extra resolution is great for adding realism to the character models both in the face and in the body. Relying on normal maps can only take you so far, and for characters with lots of exaggerated surface detail, the ability to bake that detail directly into the actual geometry and having the resolution to be able to do that can take your characters to the next level. Wrinkles, once relying on normal maps, can now be modeled directly into the character mesh. Character Creator now allows for 4K and even 8K textures. In fact, the editor will allow for up to 16K. 4K resolution seems to work for my stylized characters, but the ability to kick it up a notch to 8K is a good option to have just in case. And I guess if you're a madman and want to fry your computer, you could try 16K. There is now a revamped eyelash system. Before, a texture was mapped onto a single card. Now, a more advanced lash system allows for much more detail and realism. Many individual pieces of geometry make up the new eyelashes, and there is control over the top and bottom eyelashes independently. There is also a library of HD eyes with higher resolution and greater control over things like color and iris size. The new Actor Mixer feature is something we've seen in other character creation apps, but now we have it in Character Creator 5. By loading in characters, you can morph between them, blending in overall character presets, or just body shapes, just the head shapes, or even just individual facial features. The updated CC5 character profile has additional blend shapes and bones added to the character, making it now fully compatible with the metahuman skeletons. In fact, CC5 characters can be exported to be compatible with all Unreal skeletons. This makes it super easy to integrate into various Unreal workflows and take advantage of the existing tools and assets in Unreal. So what about older characters? Do they need to be thrown away and recreated from scratch in CC5? No, not at all. The new CC5 profile uses the same base mesh, it just allows for more subdivisions. The underlying topology doesn't change, it just has more resolution. This means you can import your old characters, increase the subdivisions, and then update their facial profile to the new CC5 profile to take advantage of the extra morph sliders. So now, after playing around with this for a few weeks, well, what do I think? Well, overall, I think these are some great changes, but the thing that really sells it for me is the new compatibility with metahumans. Creating custom stylized characters has always been a challenge. In the past, my workflow has been to create these characters using Reillusion and then to convert them to metahumans to use in Unreal. 
Well, the new compatibility with the UE5 skeleton and with the MetaHuman skeleton completely removes this tedious and time-consuming process. Now I can import my CC5 characters directly into the engine and take advantage of all the MetaHuman tools without having to go through the tedious process of converting them into a MetaHuman. Now for me, this is enormous. This saves a lot of time. This saves a lot of money. I don't have to buy extra third-party plugins. And I get all the benefits of a MetaHuman without the tediousness of going through the MetaHuman conversion process. Now to show you what I mean here, I'm going to take a character that I created from CC5, I'm going to bring it into Unreal, I'm going to apply an animation created using the MetaHuman audio tool, which generates lip sync and facial animation simply with an audio file. I'm going to apply that to my CC5 character, and then to animate the body, I'll apply an actor core animation that I got from the Reillusion actor core library. So in this demonstration, I'm going to basically combine two different workflows, the MetaHuman workflow and the CC5 workflow, and you'll see how they work together seamlessly. Okay, so here we are in Unreal Engine, and now I'm just going to go through the process of uh, using the MetaHuman um, audio tool to generate lip sync with our character creator character here. So I have already imported Dinglesorp. He's one of the characters I made in Character Creator. And I've gone, I'm not going to go through the whole auto setup process. There are tutorials online for that. I'm just going to show you how to integrate him with some of these MetaHuman tools and show you how easy it is and how well it works. So the first thing you're going to want to do to get this tool to work um, with the MetaHumans is you're going to want to have a rig that's compatible with the MetaHumans. Now, in order to do that, you're going to want to have uh, the CC Control Rig plugin installed. We'll find it right here. Um, this is the Reillusion uh, UE Control Rig. You're just going to want to have this installed. And of course, you're going to want to make sure that the plugin is indeed installed and turned on. So here I have it, it is checked on. If it's not checked on, you're gonna to wanna to check this box, enable it, and then you'll probably have to restart the engine. Now, I've already got that turned on. There's two ways you can do this. You can either drag your character into the level, and once he is in the level, just zero it out here, uh, I can just click this button here to execute the CC control rig action. Or the other way that I can do it is to simply in my, um, in the content window here in the content browser, I can just simply right click and hit create CC control rig. So I'm gonna just go through the process right now and generate the rig. It's all automated. You don't have to do anything except just sit back and have a cup of coffee. Okay, once that's done, it doesn't take very long, maybe a minute or two, you're going to have this new folder called Rigs. Now within this folder, you're gonna to wanna to grab your blueprint here and just drag it into the scene like this. And let's just get this out of the way. I will zero him out here. So we've got our character in the scene and what we're gonna to wanna to do is just generate some lip sync using an audio file. So first let's grab the audio file. If I go back into my content browser here, we're gonna to go to audio and I've got a couple test clips here. We're gonna use the second one and let's just give it a listen. Oh, wonderful. Another system failure. Classic Earth engineering. I used to think the worst tech in the galaxy was made by the Blurbonians. Then I joined this crew. Okay, so this is the clip we're going to use, and we're just going to basically generate an animation just from the audio file. So in order to do this, we're going to have to create a MetaHuman performance. If I go into my MetaHumans folder, um, I've already generated one here. I'm just going to delete this and we'll do it again. Just simply right click find the uh, MetaHuman section here, and we're gonna go to MetaHuman Performance. Now, I already have a generic MetaHuman that I've created here just for the purposes of, of creating and using some of these tools. So once this is created, I'll just rename this uh, System Failure 2. Okay, we'll open it up. And in here, instead of depth footage, we're just going to use an audio clip. So we'll select audio. I'm going to find system failure two. Um, now for, we've got face control board here. For visualization mesh, I'm just going to grab my generic metahuman uh, that I've got here. Okay, so we've got the, uh, the generic metahuman mesh. We've got our audio file. Uh, everything's all ready to go. All I need to do now is just simply hit this process button here and we'll get our animation. So let's see what we get. Okay, let's uh, let's see how it turned out. Oh, wonderful. 
another system failure. Classic Earth engineering. I used to think the worst tech in the galaxy was made by the Blurbonians. Then I joined this crew. All right, so um, what I'm, the one thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to just disable the head movement. So we've got uh, head movement is set to transform track. I'm going to just turn this off and disable it so the head will not be moving. It's just going to be locked off and just get system the mouth system and good. facial animation. And now what I'm going to do is just copy this. So I'm going to hit Control C by selecting the entire uh, face control board track here. So select it, hit Control C, and we're going to close this down just to avoid any crashes with Unreal when I open up Sequencer. And I will find my Sequencer that I have open here. And we're just going to drag Dinglezorp into our Sequencer. And if we take a look, we can see he's got a full control rig on him. We see the face board here, which is you know familiar to that that we see with the metahumans. And now what I'm gonna do is on this uh, face rig track, I'm just gonna select it and I'm going to hit Control V to paste those keyframes. And here they are. Now you see I've got two control rigs, one is empty. I'm just gonna delete this empty one. And now we just have the uh, we just have the, uh, the the track here with all the keyframes. So I've also got my uh, audio clip already installed or already uh, dropped into my sequencer. So when we play back, we'll get our animation with our sound file. So let's just, uh, let's see how it turned out. Let me first get out of animation mode and we'll just hide, hide everything else. And let's, uh, let's take a look at what we have here. Oh, wonderful. Another system failure. Classic Earth engineering. I used to think the worst tech in the galaxy was made by the Blurbonians. Then I joined this crew. Oh. So you can see that came out really well. And this is obviously, um, you know, a very, very stylized face. It's not really your typical human face. And it was super, super easy to just transfer those metahuman keyframes onto this um, Character Creator 5 character. Now, the other thing we can do that's super easy, I've imported some animations um, from Realusion. So I can just select my body track and we'll do an add animation and maybe we'll do uh, this stand and chat, uh, this one right here, I guess. We'll just select this and we'll just line this up with the beginning roughly. And we're gonna wanna deactivate the body control rig and we'll see he snaps into place here. And now we have uh, a quick little body animation. All right, so let's see let's see how the animation, the lip sync, and the body animation plays together. Oh, wonderful! Another system failure. Classic Earth engineering. I used to think the worst tech in the galaxy was made by the Blurbonians. Then I joined this crew. So yeah, there you have it. Um, that's all there is to it. Everything is super easy. This new platform uh, makes it super easy to combine facial animation from from the MetaHuman rig and animations from the Realusion Actor Core. It all works together seamlessly. It was super easy and that's what you want. You want things to be easy and painless. All right, so that's it for this video. Hopefully this shows you a little bit about what CC5 can do and gives you a sense of the new features. And if you like this video, please do me a favor and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And then better yet, please hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any future videos.